So we are back in Exodus chapter 3 and now verses 10 to 12. Moses and God are having quite the conversation and let's see what happens next. Therefore come now and I will send you to Pharaoh so that you may bring my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with you and this shall be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God at this mountain. So God is asking Moses to participate in the liberation of his people. And here we kind of have a weird snag here. It kind of goes sideways here. Moses says, well, what do you mean? What, who, me? I mean, who am I to do that? Hey, you know, you're the one that God's chosen, you know, so let's get on with it. But, uh, but Moses, is, is, he's learned some humility over the years. He doesn't trust his first impulses anymore. And so, you know, there's kind of a good side to that. But this is going to escalate in the conversation here. Who am I? So who am I? He asks God. Now, what's interesting here to me is that God gives Moses a sign. And it, to us, it would seem like a very weird sign. Did you notice the sign? I'll tell you what. You, you, here's, here's what's going to happen. You're going to do this. That's fine. Uh, you're going to come and you're going to bring these people. They're going to worship me. When it has worship in verse 12, it's a plural. So it's not just Moses or it's not just Moses and sheep. This is Moses and the Hebrew people that God will have brought out of bondage. Praise the Lord. But now uh, they're going to worship him at this mountain. Did you see that? This shall be the sign that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God at this mountain. So what what use is a sign like that? I mean, like, you want the sign before you go. The sign will give you evidence before you go. So God is saying, look, you go do this, and when you get done with it, this will be the sign that it was for me. Well, yeah, like, so you're supposed to put yourself on the line and do all this stuff, and then God's just kind of promising someday, you know, along the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this. When you see yourself back here with all the people, you'll know that I sent you. What kind of a sign is that? And so to us, that's like, uh, hey, wait a minute. This, this sounds kind of... This doesn't sound right. There's something about this that sounds sideways to us. But that's because what this actually is, is a sign of fulfillment. It's a fulfillment sign. Okay, so there, this will, you'll find this in uh, several other places across the scriptures that God gives a fulfillment sign. So what is a fulfillment sign? A fulfillment sign is something where God is, sets a task and you do the task and you don't really realize and, and until you've come to the end of that task that's when it is shown to be true that it's actually happened. And what it is, is it's drawing you out. It's causing you to exercise faith, see? And when Moses brings the people there and they're at, the, they're at Mount Sinai, he'll look around and say, wow, this really was God, God led. This, this came from God. And so what is a fulfillment sign worth? Well, it's, see, a fulfillment sign isn't directly to uh, to goad you to, uh, to say, oh yeah, well, there it is. Uh, the fleece is wet, so we're going, or the fleece is dry, so we're going. A fulfillment sign is, is to lead you to exercise faith. And Moses is the one right here who's not exercising very much faith. Who am I, God? I mean, you're God, and you're asking me to go, but who am I? That's kind of, kind of a sideways questioning of God, isn't it? But God is telling Moses, hey, you need to exercise some more faith. I'm going to give you a fulfillment sign, and one day you'll look back at this and say, wow, yeah. So, uh, so we're not used to fulfillment signs. We want to get the sign, and then based on that sign, go and do something. God is telling Moses, go do something, and I'll give you the fulfillment of the sign later. So it's sort of backwards to us, but we recognize here that what, what is God trying to do for Moses, and what would he try to do for you and I? He is trying to cause Moses to exercise faith. So kind of in an indirect way, too, this would be a blessing to those who were in the world, because as we go our way, as we obey God, as we exercise faith, the world sees that we have faith in him. And the world says, hey, there's something about this that is actually happening. You know, like, like Noah built the ark, right? And as people saw Noah building the ark, they said, he really believes in what he's doing. Uh, and so as Moses led faithfully, as he leads faithfully, the people will see that God has been with them. So there's kind of an indirect blessing on the world even as well. 
So fulfillment sign right here in verse 12. Kind of interesting and useful to know about. God bless you, and we'll see you back tomorrow morning.